Hey all welcome back, and this is If Statements Part 1. Uh, for the remaining lessons, we're not going to be doing as quick of a, um, you know, documentation coding challenge. This one is going to be, we're going to introduce if statements, then in the next uh, part we'll introduce a bunch of documentation kind of as we walk through it, and then each subsequent part will just be a coding challenge. Uh, if you're having problems with it, um, now don't worry about it. Just take your time with it. Always remember you can go back to the documentation. And uh, yeah, ask on Slack if you ever get into too much trouble. Uh, so an if statement. A conditional allows your program to do something if some condition is true. So let's talk about our case one from the introduction. So if it is raining, you should wear a raincoat. So here's our pseudocode. <clears throat> Armed with an if statement, this is easily translatable into code. I'm sorry, sometimes I read the stuff that I wrote and I'm like, that's just armed. We are armed with our if statements. So the way that we want to look at it is that first we need to think about how we could model what's going on for if it is raining. So what I'm suggesting here is that we would create a Boolean variable called is raining, and that would determine if it's raining or not. If is raining is true, then it's raining. If is raining is false, then it's not raining. So I have a replit open, and we're going to grab this code and bring it over here. So if is raining is equal to true, console.log you should wear a raincoat. And that basically models what we did previously. If we change is raining to false, uh, false, then nothing is going to be logged to the console. And that's because we don't really have anything defined for what we should do if it's not raining. We've only defined what should happen if it is raining. And in this case, we're just going to console.log you should wear a raincoat. So here's our general case. And it's doing that weird thing with the markdown again, um, where it doesn't evaluate this as a comment or this is a comment and again I have no idea why so we're not going to worry about it so here's the generic case of an if statement we have our if keyword then we're going to wrap some condition and it can be a combination of conditions if you're unfamiliar with combinations of conditions check out the working with boolean section during the operators and methods uh, unit and or sorry it's the it's the working with booleans lesson in the operators and methods unit and that should give you everything you need to know about combinations of Booleans or Boolean expressions. And so if this expression inside of here, whatever it is, evaluates to true, then this is going to uh, be run. So this is the code that's inside of the if statement, and it runs in the event that this expression is true. Uh, now, it's, it runs if that expression is either truthy or true. And if you don't know what that means, go back to the Boolean section. But for now, don't worry about that too much. Just consider that this is kind of like a runs if what's in here is true. And that's it for this part. So in the next part, we'll get into some actual examples. But for now, that's all. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.